You're watching Saving Health, health and truth for this time. Hey everyone, David Cook here. You're watching Saving Health. Listen and pay attention. Today we're gonna to teach you how to make a homemade hot compress for doing spine applications. Now, a lot of times we do the spine application to draw the blood away from a particular organ as we've explained in the past. Um, the spine has cores that are connected to different organs of the body. Just to give you an example, the part of the spine that's at the base of my neck, its cords are connected to the brain. The part of the spine that's right behind the chest, its cords are connected to the chest area, the heart, the lungs. The same with the part of the spine that's connected right behind the abdomen, its cords are connected to the abdomen, the stomach, the liver, that area. And the part of the spine that's right above the tailbone, its cords are connected to everything below the waist, which is why if you ever injure that part of the body, you can be paralyzed from the waist down. Now, because heat draws blood to the area that the heat is applied to, if you are applying heat to the spine, it's gonna have the opposite effect on the organ which its cords are connected to. So if I'm putting heat on the part of my spine that's right behind my chest, because it draws blood to the area, it's gonna draw blood to the spine away from the chest. So if I have congestion in the chest, or I have a tumor in the chest, or congestion in my lungs, it will draw the blood away from there, draw the inflammation away, and clear that area up. So this is the purpose of, you know, some of the reasons why you would do a spine application. However, um, when doing so, it's always good to know how to make a homemade hot compress. And so that's what we're gonna be showing you here. So you're gonna need two towels. You're gonna need a hand-sized towel. When I say hand-sized towel, it's the towel that you dry your hands with. Uh, you're also gonna need a body towel, the you know towel that you would dry off with when you're getting out of the shower. Um, and what you're gonna do is wet this hand-sized towel till it's soaking wet, and then you're going to wring it out Okay, and once your towel is soaking wet, you're gonna fold it into two halves, like so. One half, and then two. And you may even fold it again. You're gonna place it in a plastic bag and put that bag in the microwave for about 10 minutes. A plastic bag that you get from a grocery store. It shouldn't be too thin and it shouldn't have holes in it. But because the rag is wet, you don't have to worry about the plastic melting or anything. And then once it's done, you're going to take it out what you're going to do next is you're going to take your big size towel and fold it into two halves. So I'm folding this one in half and then I'm going to fold it in half again. And I've got four layers of towel now. And between the first and second layer is where you're going to put your hot compress. And you'll close that up, flip it over so that the, when you lay on top of this, I mean, wherever the area is that you're trying to do treatment to, if it's your chest, and it means you're laying this on the part of the spine that's right behind your chest. So you're gonna lay on your back on top of this hot compress. But you wanna make sure that this is flipped over the way I just did it, so that the heat from the hot compress has about three layers between it and your skin, so that it isn't too hot. And you may not feel the heat right away, um, give it about 30 seconds to a minute and you'll start feeling the heat. And you want to do this for about 20 minutes, four times a day. And again, this is great for um, inflammation in different organs. It's great for, if, you know, enlarged organs such as an enlarged heart, an enlarged liver. Um, we had a lady come here um, a few years back. She was in her 70s, but she had an enlarged liver since she was about seven years old. So that's quite a long time to have an enlarged liver. We did the spine application having her lay on the hot compress uh, in combination with other treatments as well. And we did this four times a day. In five days, her liver was half the size. And then just a few days later, the liver was normal. I spoke to her a couple years after that, the liver was still normal. And all of that just with something as simple as a spine application. So it does wonders, but we just wanna make sure that you know how to make um, the hot compress, a homemade hot compress, um, when doing the spine application. And again, if you have any questions and you need any help, you need us to walk you through this, give us a call. We are here. We want to help you. This means a lot to us. You mean a lot to us. What you're going through means a lot to us. Um, and so whatever we can do to help, we want to do that. I'm David Cook. Thanks for watching. If you want to live a longer and happier life, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Saving Health Network, and don't forget to click the bell. Also, follow me on Facebook at David Chauncey Cook. I'm David Cook. Thanks for watching.